In this Excel video, I will show you how to quickly jump anywhere in your Excel spreadsheets. Let's get started. Here I have a spreadsheet with 30 rows, but imagine it's a giant spreadsheet, maybe with 30 columns and 2,000 rows, just a massive spreadsheet. How could I quickly jump to a specific cell or range in the spreadsheet? It could be hard to get to the exact place I'm looking for. Well, there's a couple of really good methods to help you get to where you want to be in your spreadsheet. Let's look at the most common one first, and then we'll look at maybe even a better and faster method. So many Excel users know that you can go here to the name box and highlight whatever is there and then replace it by typing a cell reference or a range reference. For example, I'll type H5 and tap enter, and my selected cell has shifted now to H5. What if I want to jump to K20? I just type in K20, tap enter, and immediately cell K20 is selected. Now let's try a much higher number. How about Z2000? Tap enter on the keyboard, and that fast, I'm on cell Z2000. Now this also works with ranges. So I could type in H4 through, the way we type through is with a colon, J20. Tap enter on the keyboard, and H4 through J20 is selected. So this is a great method to quickly jump to a specific place in a spreadsheet. Now let me show you perhaps an even better method. You can keep your hands on your keyboard by holding Control and tapping G, and this will bring up the Go To dialog box. Now typically, the contents of this reference box will be highlighted, and you can just continue with your hands on the keyboard and type in the cell reference that you want to go to. How about Q500? Tap enter, and immediately I'm taken to Q500. Now if I want to jump back up to the top of the spreadsheet, Control G again, how about Q2? Tap enter, and I'm back up to the top of the spreadsheet. So using this Control G method, you can keep your hands on the keyboard and work very effectively. Now if you want to, you can also use your mouse to click on one of these key locations in your spreadsheet. And some of these key places may seem familiar to you. There's Z2000, there's K20, there's Q500. These are cell references in the spreadsheet that I've recently jumped to. And my go-to dialog box remembers that, and I can quickly just double-click on one of these to jump back to where I've been before. I'll hold Control and tap G again, because I want you to see that it also lists any named ranges that are in your spreadsheet. So I do have a named range called Average Rebounds, and if I double-click on that, it takes me to that exact named range. If you don't already know about named ranges, please watch my other tutorials that talk about how to use named ranges. So in this video, we've looked at two excellent ways to quickly go to anywhere in your Excel spreadsheet. The name box is a fantastic way to do that, but Control G may be even better. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider clicking the thanks button below the video. And you can support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. You're helping me to be able to continue making these educational videos for my wonderful audience. Thank you.